guys, Kat here. And today we have a and today we have a cardio workout with dumbbells. So I'll be using only a pair of five pounds today. But you can totally use whatever you want. Every exercise will be 40 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. All right, let's get warmed up. Rawr. All right, guys, let's get warmed up nice and easy. So we're gonna do one jumping jack to the front and then one to the side. So jump those feet out wide, keep that core strong, and touch the hands on the top. None of these dinosaur hands, okay? We get them, we get the big arms. Yeah. Keep it going, keep it jumping. Three, two, one. Nice job, bounce it out. Let's go with some butt kicks. So kick that booty behind you. Hey, booty. Hey, girl. That's kind of weird. All right, keep it going. Three, two, one. Okay. Woo. Have those feet out wide, a little bit wider than hip width. You're gonna sink it down to one side, keeping the other leg straight, and then go side to side. So warm it up while we're stretching with movement, because we never want to start out with static stretching. It's like it's like stretching a cold rubber band if we do that. No bueno. Three, two. One, nice job, bounce it out. Woo! All right, let's get in our fighter stance. Left foot forward, right foot back. We're gonna have our hands up. You're just gonna throw a jab across. Pop, pop. So turn that palm facing down at the last second. And if you can, for those crosses, pivot on that back foot so we get that nice hip rotation and that power from the hips. Keep it going. Hands up. Because we will be throwing a few punches today, just a few. That's gonna be fun. Three, two, one more. One, nice job, bounce it out. Woo! All right, let's do some high knee marches. So, right in the place, opposite arm, opposite leg. Drive that knee up high. Exhale up, inhale down. We don't wanna start with something too crazy, because we're gonna be getting into that crazy. Oh, yes. It's like, it's like a new girlfriend, if you, if you have, or boyfriend, whatever. You get in that relationship, it starts all good, and then they get crazy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, bounce it out, woo! Some of you are like, yeah, I get you. All right, let's go for skaters. So side to side, we're just gonna walk it out to start it out with, and then we'll pick it up. Sink it, sink it, sink it. All right, let's pick it up, hop it, hop it. Side to side, warming up those lateral muscles. Now, Make sure you bring your chest up in between, okay? You don't want to go like this for too long. That's really going to exasperate that lower back. So, don't do that. Don't do it. Three, two, one more. One, all right, shaky, shaky, shaky. Let's get some back lunges going because we will be doing those today, but we might be jumping them out because it's cardio. We love cardio. <laughs> Sing it down, bring it up. Nice and controlled. Press to the heel of that front foot. Let's go two more, one on each side. Last one. All right, bounce it out. Crisscross those arms. I think we're ready to get started. And by I think I say, I mean I know. Okay, let's do this. 10 seconds. Okay, we're only gonna need one weight for a lot of these, such as this first exercise. So. Side slip with a free throw. You're gonna squeeze that core, step to the side, and then throw it up. Don't throw up, throw it up. <laughs> Sink it down to the side. If you don't have a lot of room to play with, you can take even smaller steps to the side, okay? Make sure you're squeezing that core. Squeeze as you dive under that imaginary bar of love. Whoop, dodge that bullet. <laughs> Sink it. Up. 10 seconds, guys. Keep it up. Sink it. Hop it. Almost there. Up. Last three, two, up. All right. So we're still going to need just this one. 10 high knees, one switch lunge. Yes. Oh, yes. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Come to a lunge. And then do it again. Go with the other leg head. Nine, ten. Really drive those knees up. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hop. Sink it. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Hop. Sink it. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Hop. Sink it. 
two, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Really drive those knees up using those abs. Whew. Did I just do that leg? Who knows? <laughs> Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hop. Last one. Whoo! Shaky, shaky. Okay. Squat touchdown, dumbbell switch. Again, you're just gonna need one weight for this one. So start with your feet together, chest up. Whew. Okay. Sink down, bring it up and switch. And once you get that down, pick up that speed. Now make sure you're not leaning forward like this. Okay, you wanna come into that full squat. Chest up, sink in those heels, up and switch. Yeah. Woo! Ooh, baby, this is fun. Woo, almost dropped that. <laughs> that would have been not that bad because it's only five pounds. But still, it would have been terrifying. Keep going, guys. And done. Okay. Press up and out jacks. So it's gonna be kind of like the warm up where we had up and then in front with a dumbbell. So every time you jump your feet out, bring it either up or out. Yes. Keep it up. That was kind of loud. <laughs> I was just so passionate about it. Keep it up, guys. <laughs> Keep jumping. Remember, if you get tired, this is cool too, okay? So do what you can do right here, right now. And if you hear that dog in the background, this gym is right next to like a dog thing. <laughs> you know, one of those dog things. <sighs> All right, <laughs> all right. So about high spin run. So we're gonna need both. You're gonna set them up about hip width apart, maybe a little bit more. Okay. So you're starting on one side, you're gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. Pump the arms. Now, if you're too afraid to slip on these, totally understandable. You don't wanna freak yourself out, okay? No big deal. Step in back, do the same thing. It's not for everyone, and that's okay. You don't wanna to be too scared when you're working out. There will be times where you wanna push through that fear, but other times it's five in the morning and you're like, maybe next time. <laughs> and that's cool too. <sighs> okay, cool. Back lunge, twist and hop. Grab one weight, kick the other one aside. Sorry, I didn't mean it. Okay, bring your left leg back. And then, when you bring that left leg up, twist, and then hop on the right foot. Sounds like a lot, but if you watch me, it's really not that bad. So, we're really nailing those obliques as we twist through um, on that left side. Sink it. Take your time in this movement. Make sure the knee on that right side doesn't drive over the toes. Yes. <laughs> Sink it. Twist it. Twist and shout, roar! So much roar. <laughs> Everyone needs some roar in their life, right? Right, okay. Whew. Before we go to the other side, um, side to side, dumbbell swing. So, you're gonna act like this is a kettlebell. Use your hips, squeeze it, twist, bring it to the side. And really throw it over that shoulder, so again, you're controlling that weight with that core. Now I'm gonna go to the side, so you can see, squeeze your butt, but also squeeze your core, because you don't wanna be hyperextending the spine, okay, none of that business. That's not what working out's about. You wanna get stronger safely. Woo! Keep going, squeeze, I'm really feeling my core. Oh my, you already know what move is next. Yeah, you do. Hopefully you remember which leg was back. If not, if you follow with me, we're bringing our right leg back this time in that lunge with a twist. Twist, okay. Sink it, drive it up. Sink it down, drive it up. Woo, it's cold outside, so like, as you get sweaty, I get kind of itchy. Like my knees are itchy, that's weird. 
This weather is so confusing. It was 50 degrees yesterday, and now it's like 30. <laughs> yeah, Wisconsin. Anyone else have weather like that? Let me know where you guys live. That sounds creepy. Um, <laughs> let me know how the weather is so I can be, either be jealous or suffer with you. We're in this together. Okay, so next one. Ooh, this one's fine. We're gonna be skipping it out. If you don't have a coordination, you're gonna be walking it out with the skip. So bring your arms up, skip. So this is amazing for those abs. This is a standing abs move, really. Good cardio, because why not? So if you can't do that, if you don't have a coordination, bring your foot back, crunch, switch. Just make sure you exhale every time you bring that knee to that dumbbell. So whatever you choose, awesome. Ah, yeah. Kill it. Keep it going. Finish it out. All right. So next up, 180 degree squat jump with a press out. Sounds crazy. Kind of crazy. You'll see. Okay. So sink down in that squat. Press out. Turn. Press out. Now, if this is too much, press out, walk it. Press out, or you can just pivot on one foot and then pivot back. Totally up to you. Listen to your body. Listen to what it can do today. Because some days are tough and some days you can just fly through it. So when you have those days, freaking fly, man. Don't stop yourself. Just own it. One more. Last one. And uh, I guess 10 seconds. Still gonna use just one dumbbell. So have it in your left hand and then stabilize on the right leg. So you're gonna sink down, this is really fun, vertical hop. So vertical hop, and then you're gonna switch at the top and then switch feet. So you're switching which dumbbell the hand is in. Wait, which hand the dumbbell is in? <laughs> oh my, <laughs> it's one of those days. And then sink down, that squat, so side view. Sink down, hop, hop, sink it, stabilize. Go for height, woo! Make sure you find your stabilization. Walk it out if you need to, so you can always sink down, switch, sink down, switch. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> That's just fun. Okay, burpee, two knee twists. You're holding the dumbbell like this, and you're placing it on the ground. So, place it, come down, up, grab it, twist, twist. Come down, down, up. If you want to, jump up with it, twist, twist. Come down, jump up, twist, twist. Come down, this one's fun. Down, up, jump it, twist, twist, come down. I like it. I'm really liking these moves. <laughs> They're just fun. You just need to have fun. <sighs> yeah. Three, two, one. Okay. Woo. Next up, squat with dumbbell. Oh gosh. This one's fun. Okay, so grab both weights if you want to. So you're gonna sink down, squat, hook, squat. Hook, sink it. It's actually easier to put one weight in front and then hook with that same arm. Sink it. Another great standing abs cardio move. You don't have to use weights, but you should feel this in your core. This is a sneaky one. It doesn't look like cardio, but it's coming up, man. My heart rate's coming up. Woo, sink it. Almost there. Oh, I hate hearing the dogs. It sounds so sad. Okay, so sumo squat with a front raise. We're gonna try to hop it out. Toes facing out. So start with your feet closer together. Sink down, raise it up. That's it. Now if it's too much um, to have your toes facing out like that, no big deal. Make it a regular squat. 
sink down. That's okay too. Walk it out if you need to. If you're at that point where you're like, yeah, I need a break. That's okay. Okay? Just keep going. Drop the weight. Walk it out. Stay strong. <laughs> Yay! Almost there. Oh, we there. Okay. Okay. Ten fast feet and jump. I'm using one weight. Uh, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jump. I'm just counting to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you have neighbors and you live down below, I want you to change it to squats. We'll hop. Okay? I know some of you live in a place where you don't want to make a lot of noise. So, that is an option for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Hop. Okay. Back to jumping jacks. Single arm this time. We're doing 20-20. Need to see that. Okay, so jump feet out. One. So 20 seconds, I'll tell you when to switch. Keep it up, guys. Yay! Ugh. Finish it, and switch. It's a little bit more than, it's like 23 seconds. Oh, man. Woo! Finish it out. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay, one weight. Excuse me, it's a hiccup. All right, single shuffle. So side shuffle, sorry. Sing down. One, two, and then whichever leg is farthest out, twist. One, two, twist. Just like in that um, squat we were in before. And then that oblique twist. One, two, one, two, sing it down. One, two. If you don't have a lot of room to play with, you can do one, two, and then twist, okay? So, I understand. One, two. I've lived in apartments before. I know what it's like. Okay. Woo! Single leg deadlift, hop up. A little bit of strength incorporated in this one. Having your left hand stabilized on the right leg. So, you're going to try to have a slight bend in the knee only, so it should feel like a stretch here. Come up, hop. Single leg, come up, hop. We're standing on the same leg the whole time. If you need to, you can always tap down in the middle and then bring it up. Woo! Shaky, shaky. Try to stabilize. Doesn't matter how many reps woo, you get in. See, I'm a little bit wobbly today. Um, not sure why, but we all have those days. The worst thing you can do is beat yourself up about it. It's a workout. We're having fun. It's cool. Okay, <laughs> so let's get the other side right away. Okay, so go ahead. And slightly, bring it up. Yeah, so like I said before, like sometimes your balance is crazy awesome. And you're like, I'm feeling it. I feel it. Next level, baby. And then some days you're like, what the frack just happened to my balance? And that's okay. It'll come back. Woo! Woo, yeah. 10 seconds. All right, after this, whoop, we're gonna be boxing a little bit. So we will need both weights, three, Two, shaky, shaky. Jab cross, hook, hook. So you already did the jab cross in the warm up. Straight, straight. Now we're gonna add hook, hook to the side. Yes. All right. Three, two, jab cross, hook, hook. Now make sure you squeeze your core the whole time. Don't punch yourself in the face. And if you want to, you can always drop the weights. But this is awesome for the shoulders, this is awesome for the core. 
those hip rotations, really feeling it. Keep it up guys. We are over halfway with your workout. So stay with me, stay positive. We're gonna bring the crazy even higher after this. So it's gonna be really fun. Oh yeah, three, two, one. All right guys, 10 seconds. Go ahead, grab both weights. 10 standing mountain climbers, front kick, back kick. We're gonna be alternating on those kicks. So start with opposite arm, opposite leg. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stabilize. Front kick, back kick. Up. One, two, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Switch legs. Front kick, stabilize. Back kick. One, two, five, six, eight, nine, ten. If you can't coordinate um, your arm and your opposite leg, that's okay. Just keep going. It doesn't need to be perfect. Woo! Two, six, nine, ten. Kick, kick. Oh, so fun. Okay, four switch feet, four uppercuts. I like this one. Real light on the feet. We're gonna do four switches. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so with those uppercuts, three, four. Twist those hips, squeeze that core. Your abs should feel this one. If you want to switch feet, after every one, so your other leg is forward, you can. One, two, four. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Three, four. This is your workout. Four. I'm making it five. Four. One, two, four. Woo! One, two, four. Finish it up. One, two, four. One, two, four. Okay, so figure eight is next. You're gonna be setting it up. I'm gonna butt hip width, maybe a little bit wider. We're gonna go with the figure eight. We don't wanna cross our feet, okay? So it's quick steps. Woo! -hoo. Again, you wanna keep it as close as possible and don't cross the feet over each other, okay? So it's real quick steps. Woo! Working those calves like crazy, working that coordination. Building up that fear of tripping like I just did. That's okay. Woo! It happens. You're probably, you're probably quicker than me if you're a soccer player, especially. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is fun. Hook skaters are next, so we will need both dumbbells. So we did skaters before the warm up. Now we're adding weight. We're gonna try to jump it out. Yeah. <laughs> We'll get two options though. So, stabilize. Keep those arms up. Now, if you want to make it more core, twist, twist. Plant that back foot and walk it out. Still crazy awesome for the shoulders. You can really feel it in that core when you twist through. Or you can switch off. I like both. So, yeah. Depends on the mood. Up. Keep going. Finish it out. Three, two, one. Okay. Snap kick, single leg squat. Same leg the whole time. So you're gonna bring left knee up, kick with your right. So it's gonna go like this, stabilize. Woo! Bend that left knee, single leg squat, not a deadlift, and come up. So reset, kick, stabilize, and then bring it back up. From the side, knee up, kick. You can take the jump out and just walk it out instead. Bend that knee, bring it up. This one's fun. Another fun one. Now, when you do that single leg squat, make sure your back is flat. It's not like this, okay? Nice and flat. Sink it in that heel, and then bring it back up. Whew, okay. Now we have, uh, before we go to the other side, two hooks, two uppercuts, back to box. Okay, all right, hook, hook, upper, upper. You've done both of these already. Hook, hook, upper, upper, hook, hook. Again, core, use your hips. I see a lot of people going like this. 
Yeah, it'll be pretty good for your arms, but you'll really get the power and you'll really burn out that core if you twist your hips. So make sure you twist your hips, okay? We're dancing. We're just dancers. So fun. We love dancing. Yes. Finish it out. Hook, hook, upper, upper. Okay. Snap kick, single leg squat, other leg. Now one leg might feel like you're doing the matrix because you're like, what? Uh, so take your time if you need to, knee up and kick with the other. So, whoop, one side, a little bit funkier, get funky. Ha. Yeah. Oh yeah, we are almost done guys. We only have three more moves after this and two of them are crazy awesome. Oh yeah. Ha. The other one's just crazy. No, it's awesome too. And up. Whoop. 10 seconds. Sink it. Bring it up. Sink it down. Three, two, one. Okay, so two half burpees, side plank raise. I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna stabilize on my dumbbells, but you can have them off to the side. Okay, that's totally fine. So, jump your feet up, plant the entire foot on the ground, one, two, bring it back, side raise, bring it down, switch, one, two, using your core there, twist up, twist back, again, if it's too much on the hands, have your hands on the ground instead, okay, that's totally fine, one, two, and then just grab that dumbbell, and bring it up, one, I love it. <laughs> Working core here. And down. Alright guys. Last two moves. Dumbbell swing and pop. So we've done dumbbell swings already. This time we're gonna add a pop to the front. What? Yeah. So keep your dumbbell swing ready. Nice neutral neck. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your core. Once it's up there, add a pop. Pop. Sink it up. That's it. Up, up. Keep going, guys. Sink. Up. Pop. Sink. Up. Pop. Up. Pop. Finish it. Woo! After this, we have the best move of the day. <laughs> okay, so this one takes a little bit to get down. You need one dumbbell. I put this one in for fun. So if you can't get it down, I want you to do jumping jacks with the weights. So you're gonna roll back and then tuck one foot in, come to a kneeling position, halo. Come down, roll back, other leg, up, halo. Come back, just twitching positions here, halo. Bring it down. So you're getting all those angles. Woo! This one's just fun. Nice and strong. Don't roll on your neck. That's a big one. Roll on your shoulders. Roll up. If you have any back injuries, do not do this. <laughs> Let's just say that. And done. Woo! See you that fun? Some of you may have gotten it down, some of you may not have. No big deal. Don't beat yourself up if you didn't. Go ahead, rewind it if you want to. Uh, we're going to cool it down, but before we do that, please do like this video. Um, and then if you are not sticking with me, go ahead and repeat this workout. Click the eye, it'll take you to another workout on mine or whatever you want to see. Uh, leave a comment below, let me know which move was your favorite today. Uh, and yeah, let's cool down. Hurrah! Right, guys, let's come on down to the ground. We're gonna take it easy today, because it's cardio. Cardio man, drive those knees in, pull them to your chest, and just relax. Try not to shrug your shoulders here. It's really easy to tense those traps. Just be mindful of that. Let's go ahead, drop your left leg. Keep your right knee in your chest, pull it close. Breathe. Stretching is so, so important for your body. Some of you saw that in my Instagram post, stretching, mobility, flexibility is just as important as strengthening. Go ahead, bring that knee to side. So, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, don't forget to Catherine Sneak Fitness. 
post some inspirational stuff and then some half naked selfies. If you want to see that, I don't know. <laughs> go ahead, no shame. Cross it over, stand right arm to the right, go over that right shoulder. You should never be ashamed of posting anything. Wrong. Just be you, do what makes you happy. Go ahead, bring it back to center. And down, left knee in that chest and pull. Breathe here. Go ahead, bring that knee to the outside. Breathe. And go ahead, cross over that body. Extend left arm to the left. Look over your left shoulder. Breathe here. Bring it back to center. And uh, we're going to roll over onto our stomachs like puppy. Woof, 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 woof. I am doing that now. Shut up. Yes. My hair is all over the place. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hands by the chest. Go ahead. Push up into a mini cobra. Hug those ribs in. And relax the traps. So I come down. Push back those hips into child's pose. Relax the neck. Press the palms to the ground and you can go side to side with those palms. You should feel this right here on each side as you do that. Reaching in those lats. And go ahead, walk those hands to the knees. All right, let's go ahead and bring that right knee forward. We're gonna open up the hips. Take your hands to the inner part of that foot. Press that knee out. You should feel this in the inner thighs on that right side. Just breathe here. Breathe happy. Yeah. All right, go ahead, bring it back to center and switch. Left leg in front, press the front. Left hands, or left hands, oh my. Go ahead, press that knee out, you know what to do. <laughs> you just look down your two left hands. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. And go ahead, bring it back, and feet together again. Curl the toes underneath, push your hips back, straighten up the legs. You can hamstring, knees, relax your neck. Move. You're gonna slowly roll it up. Four, three, two, one. Nice job, roll the shoulders. Oof, a few crinkles, crackles. All right, let's get that left arm across the body and pull. Look over that left shoulder. Shake it out, other side. Shake it out, all right. Last one, clasp the hands in front. Put the shoulders in, big inhale up. And exhale, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. We are done for dark. We did it. You guys did it. We completed our crazy awesome dumbbell cardio workout for the day. So thank you guys again so much for joining me. Don't forget to pet the kitty to subscribe for more awesome workouts with me every Monday. And remember to share this with your friends and your family on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Um, follow me on Instagram at Kat Moosney, uh, Fitness, not with the uh. And just so you know, I do have an Amazon link down below now. Uh, it shows you the equipment that I've used in my workout videos. Some of you have asked me before, um, so it'll take you directly to that. I also have um, books that I recommend that I've posted on Instagram like from a while back and other stuff like the protein powder that I use. So hopefully that'll help you guys out. And yeah, I will get a little thing from that if you do use that. So I'm just being honest with you. See you guys soon. Roar.